got him. Well, that was quick and painless. Oh, I forgot to turn on the light. <sighs> See, you guys, that's the problem when you have one window in your apartment. But, hey guys, what's going on? Sasha here. And on this beautiful Sunday morning, I decided to take advantage of the new delivery service from Walmart. It's powered by DoorDash, but basically Walmart, the same way you would do Walmart grocery pickup at their store, you can have them deliver your groceries, which I thought was pretty sweet. I do believe there is a minimum and it costs $10 to you know, have your groceries delivered. Um, what else did I want to say? So, if it's your first time doing... Well, first, if your Walmart actually has delivery uh, available, you... Uh, what you call it? You would do your... I'm like all frazzled and stuff. I apologize, y'all. So, um... What you would do is you would place your order on the website just like you would if you were going to pick it up at your well, local Walmart. And I'm not sure if there was a minimum, a $50 minimum, but if you act now before uh, January 31st of next year, you can actually get your first order free delivery charge with a $50 order minimum. So I pretty much spent under $60. I'm talking like $59.95. So I figured let's do a little mini haul. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Well, your weekend's still going. But, you know, by the time I upload the video, it's going to be probably the day's going to be halfway over with. This box is bigger than I thought, but Oreo O's. I remember as a kid, I like I love this cereal. Along with French Toast Crunch and Fruity Pebbles and I think some other ones. But so stoked when they came back. Had to get them again. Um, I'm almost out of my frosted mini wheats. Well, I'm definitely out of one, y'all, but. Kind of out of the other. And then, I was surprised that. They had the golden version of Oreo O's. Isn't that slick? So I had to try that too. So y'all forgive me. I'm going to be putting up my groceries as I go through this haul with y'all. And I will say, um, my delivery time was scheduled between 9 and 10. And my driver just came up like a few minutes ago. Like, a little bit before 9. 
Because it's like 8.50, probably 9 o'clock now. Yeah, it's 9.04, 9.05. So, um, she also told me she was awesome. Shouts out to Peggy. Um, she actually got lost along the way, which I was surprised. But, um, she said she delivered in the area before, so it's, it's all good. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, this is really nifty. I could just do like a sit down talk afterwards, but let's just get right on into it. So, sweet. I got some tube beef. Well, one's tube beef, one's tube turkey. Um, I plan to do a taco night with the beef. And for the ground turkey, maybe do some nachos. But yeah, I'll definitely feel it Mexican food. September 30th, that's fine. I don't know about y'all, but have you ever used, like, um, the grocery delivery? I know, like, some people can use it for, oh, September 30th, Jesus, who's coming up? I know people use it for, um, fast food and whatnot, and that's totally fine. I want to do one for fast food too, like for one of my cheat meals, but I, I'm not even going to say cheat meals. I'll say a treat. I want to treat myself because I'm not really trying to do the diet or whatever, but I'm just trying to get myself to make healthier choices. Because you see, when people use the D word diet, you know, I'll speak for myself. I don't tend to do that well. So, I'm just trying to build up better choices. Like I said in my videos before. Now I'm going to put that to the side. Got my produce. So, shredded lettuce. And iceberg salad. Hey, y'all, sometimes I'm lazy. I don't feel like, you know, dealing with... And also, I don't have the kitchen space to, you know, be able to fully cut, chop a head of lettuce, and chop a head of lettuce and, um, you know, be able to make magic with it. But that's okay. That's all right. That's why bag salads are there. Okay, they gave me the bigger bag of cheese, which, you know, I wanted a two, um, whatchamacallit? A two cup bag. This is a four cup bag, so I don't need cheese for the rest of the time I'm here, y'all. Good Lord, have mercy. <laughs> so I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they'll they'll probably upcharge me because that's definitely more than the two pound, two pounds. Excuse me, the two cup bag, which is two twenty two. But that's okay, y'all. All right. I had to try it. I have to try this. Um, they also have the already made iced coffee in the Oreo flavor, but I still got a bunch of coffee K-Cups. They're going to get demolished. If this tastes good, hopefully... If not, I'm going to cry, y'all. Okay. It's 
for taco night. I love, even though I have a taco rack, like, um, it can stand, like, a regular size taco. It can stand a regular size taco and, um, whatever. I like these. These are very, very, you know, just, they're bigger, they're wider. I love them. Got some unsalted vegetable stock. Um, I'll tell you what this is for. I'm just going to put it off to the side. And then for the nachos, I got some 30% less sodium seasoning and some fire sauce. I've made... Y'all want to know the funny thing? I have the spices to make taco seasoning. But, you know, I didn't want to flub it up because I don't think I have sugar or brown sugar. Because I the one time that I did make taco seasoning by scratch or from scratch, like, it, it's the, it tasted off from what I'm used to. But, you know, it's only 88 cents with that taco seasoning. Oh, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and put those up. So we'll be having tacos one evening. And, well, tacos for like lunch and dinner. Nachos for probably just lunch and whatever. Moving right along. Wow, she individually bagged this. Okay, I got some, this is only one, but I have like three others. This is in Honeycrisp Apple, 50 cents. I like the taste of these. I only got four, you know, shouldn't be too big of a deal, right? I'll just wait to put them all in the refrigerator. This one is Strawberry Banana. Oh, what? They gave me two strawberry bananas. Um, one of them, are, unless I made the mistake. I probably made the mistake. Because I don't even see a substitution sticker on there. Yeah, I was supposed to get huckleberry and I got black raspberry instead. It's okay. So I'll definitely have the strawberry banana soon. Since I got two of them. I thought I clicked cherry lime or cherry limeade, something like that. Cherry lemonade. That's okay. That is okay, guys. Okay, guys, we're almost done. Ah, bunch of cold stuff. Cajun andouille sausage. Half is going to be used in a jambalaya. And then the other half is going to be used in one of my seafood boils. I have, I've tried another brand. Guys, let me tell you. I miss Smithy Fields andouille sausage. I don't think anything comes close to Smithy Field. Um, what else did I want to say? I tried like one other a few weeks ago. It was okay, I mean, for what it was. But if I can find some Smithy Field, we're in good, we're in good shape. Carry gold unsalted butter. So I've heard people talk about this butter, like it there's a difference. Um I wanted to try it for myself, but I always get unsalted. Cause you want to like 
take away as much salt as you can, but you're not going to sacrifice flavor. Because seafood can get hecka salty, y'all. Greek yogurt. Plain Greek yogurt. Um, this one's non-fat. I don't have a preference. Uh, non-fat pretty much because that's what... Oh, I'm not... I'm, oh, yeah, I am showing it. That I wasn't showing it, y'all. Um, non-fat yo Greek yogurt. I use this as my dip in my seafood boil. I should show y'all how I make it because it's pretty freaking good. Um... I use this as my dip. I use this to make supreme tacos as a sour cream substitute. I use this as a mayonnaise substitute for like sandwiches and spreads and whatever. If you haven't tried Greek yogurt as like a substitute to mayonnaise, sour cream, and um, whatnot, and like, like, I guess, cream, heavy cream or something. Try it out. It's protein packed. You won't miss the difference, but definitely between sour cream and Greek yogurt. Definitely recommend. Okay. Almost done, guys. Oh, yeah, I've been up since five o'clock this morning and I am a hot mess. I didn't get my caffeine fix yet, but that's about to change with that Oreo creamer. Cooked mussels. Love these bad boys. I actually like um, green lip mussels more, but I cannot find them. I've been told I should look at my local Asian grocer, but unfortunately I'm not going to have that time or luxury to. So, black mussels, they taste just as good. Love them. I put them in my boil. Pretty freaking good. And with these, they come in, they're two pounds like the ones I get at Winn-Dixie. However... These are, um, they're divided into two one pound portions. So I have one, like, for one seafood boil, keep the other one frozen, save it for the next seafood boil that I do. When Dixie, it's like everything is in one bag, which I don't like now. And plus, guys, these are only five dollars pretty much. And then, just because I'm feeling a little fancy, got some extra or jumbo shrimp for my boil. These are shell on, easy peel, tail on, which is how you got to do it in the seafood boil. Got to have the shell on, got to be easy peel, and, um, you know, I'll devein them as I cook them. Oh, lovely, the Xbox turned on by itself. Let me go put these in the freezer. And we're at that last stretch, y'all. But certainly not least, I have this beautiful, ooh, I have this beautiful silk almond milk unsweetened and original flavor. Guys, I am lactose intolerant, but really certain dairy products will make me cramp up. Sorry, y'all, that's the TV. Certain dairy products will make me cramp up worse than 
um, other dairy products like sour cream and regular milk will definitely make me, you know, my uh, settle unsettle my stomach. But now I just learned to use almond milk. Tastes pretty much. It has to be unsweetened and original though, in order for it to fool me into thinking I'm drinking um, regular cow's milk. Because if it has vanilla in it or if it's sweetened, then it's gonna taste like almonds. Like I'm, I know I'm drinking almonds. So yeah, guys, clean couch. Let me go put the rest of the stuff up, and I will give you my opinion on this whole deal. Hopefully, more coherent and not babbling. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. So, let's just but do a reset and I'll tell you what I meant to tell you during the first few minutes of me showing you guys the mini grocery haul. Okay, so the process. Process was similar to doing Walmart grocery pickup, if you've ever done that. You go online to their grocery department um, website. You pick out your groceries. Bing, bang, boom. You, you know, check out. And then you, um, instead of doing select pickup, if your address is available for delivery, select delivery and... Um, what you would call it? You select delivery, and then you. It still works akin to your um, pickup, where you would select a day and a time. You can't. Your groceries will have to be delivered, like they need a day in advance. So you couldn't select the same day delivery. And, um, that's what I did. I made my order yesterday evening. Then I stated it for 9 to 10 a.m. And she, the, my driver got here at around 8.50, like 9 o'clock on the dot, which is crazy. But she actually called me beforehand to let me know, you know, she had some trouble navigating to my apartment. So, you know, I just told her what to do to get to my complex and then smooth sailing. Um, delivery is $9.95. However, like I said before, there's a promotion going on where you buy $50 worth of groceries. You enter free or fresh car, excuse me. Fresh car into the promo code, you have to, it has to be your first delivery. It can't be any subsequent deliveries, of course. It's to get new people to try the delivery service. And, um, what else was I going to say? Um, the driver shows up, they get the bags out, it's like, you just, as you saw earlier, I was getting them, setting them in. She got it out of her car and set them in. They use uh, DoorDash drivers to, you know, get the groceries to you. And driver was awesome. Like I said, shout out to Peggy. Shout out to Jesse, even though you get this, you get a thank you card and Whoever um, picked out your order, so shout out to you. Um, you also get another flyer that says who picked out your order. Um, there's a promo code, or excuse me, not a promo code, like a member get member sort of deal. Like I'm thinking like American Chemical Society. Chemical Society. Um, guys, I gotta stop saying um so much. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm working on it. These videos, I'm trying to work on it. But, okay, so you get that. You sign. You have to sign for your groceries before the driver leaves. So that's a given. Because you do the same thing with grocery pickup. Um, the promo for the free delivery ends at January 31st of next year, uh, 2019. Um, I would definitely recommend doing it. You, if you don't want them to substitute anything, which is what I should have done. If you don't want them to substitute, um, you know, uncheck the box. Cause there's a, when you, when you're about to submit your order, you have the option to uncheck, you know, if you want to substitute, no, you don't want to substitute, keep everything as is. You should like do that. Like I should have did that cause they might charge you more or less. So my order, if it was as is, if it was as is, if it was left alone, like everything came back as displayed in my um, online list, it would have been fifty nine ninety ninety five, like right there. But I have a feeling because of that bigger bag of cheese, <clears throat> excuse me, that bigger bag of cheese, it's probably going to be over $60. You know, which is fine. It's not too big of a deal. And, um, what else did I want to say? And I, I, there I go. I keep saying, um, but there is a, oh, y'all know what? I forgot to tell y'all about the vegetable stock. So, you, know, you see, like, my mind's, like, going a thousand different places and I forget, like, what I'm going to say. The vegetable stock is used to help with the butter. It's to cut the fat for the most part, dilute it. Because when I did my seafood boils, it would just be mussels, corn, potato, mm, sometimes sausage. But mussels, corn, potato, that's it. And guys, that's like under $10.00. For, you know, a little seafood treat. I love the taste of mussels, like I said before. As I was showing y'all the what I bought. But, you know, I try to do it sparingly because... I'll get tired of it eventually. And, um... What I've been doing prior to the vegetable stock... And mind you, it has to be unsalted vegetable stock. Or unsalted stock in general. You can use chicken. You can use beef. Whatever taste you're feeling. But I feel as though vegetable stock would be best. Um, so what I was doing. I was use, I used like four tablespoons of butter. Like half a stick. Four tablespoons. For one pound of mussels. An ear and a half of corn. And one large potato. And that was pretty much it. Like. Yeah like some of the seafood would be dry. I got that. But. With the broth. I just want to dilute it. And hopefully. Also add some more flavor to the. Butter sauce that I make. Um. And then Greek yogurt, one of my seafood, one of my things that I use Greek yogurt with is my seafood dip. So, I don't know. One day I want to make that for y'all. I, I think it tastes great, especially with the potato and the corn. It I, I love it. Um, but I'm not a, I'm not trying to be a mukbang channel. Mukbang, excuse me. I'm not trying to be a mukbang channel. No way. Ugh. Um, what else did I want to say? So, overall, guys, Walmart delivery, I think it's awesome. Uh, 
Could I have just went to the store and picked up set, uh, set items? Yes. And could I have done it, I don't know, like, with the time that I woke up? Of course I could have. But you know what? I wanted to try out a service that was free. So, <laughs> and also I'm... I'm pretty much locking myself in my apartment and studying like a full-time job. So I don't really have the energy after like, you know, taxing my brain for so long to go shopping. Mind you, um, while I was in pharmacy school, y'all, this is a godsend because what I had to do or, you know, I would just go without is like... I would go in the middle of the day, or middle of the day, eh, no, early, like, in the weirdest hours, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 5 o'clock in the morning, basically, like, third shift hours, that's when I would do my shopping, because you don't have to worry about, you know, so many people taking up a register, granted, there's only like one to two registers open. And if you have people who are like-minded and how I was thinking, which there were, you know, it was still pretty bad. But no, this service would have been a godsend. I would have used it a whole lot more often. And like, unfortunately, like, I don't know. There, there's also, I find, like, escapism with doing, like, menial things like grocery shopping and, I don't know, like, go getting my car serviced or washed. Um, it, it, there are some things that, you know, I could take for granted. But I definitely felt as though I would have used this service a whole lot more had it been... Uh, established during like my second and third year while I was like at home studying or you know in school or whatever well definitely the pickup like I would have definitely utilized the pickup more often but it's a great service I would definitely recommend you guys try it especially with that promotion going on I think I'm rambling too much so there'll definitely be some stuff to cut out. But, um, oh, let me update y'all. Because I thought I could make one of those posts, the community posts. But you have to have like a certain amount of subscribers. And um, I'm definitely not there yet. But, hey, it's all good. So, for my channel... I am all caught up with the retro hauls. I don't, I check my phone like back and forth to make sure. And I believe everything I put on as a retro haul is caught up. So I only had like what, five? So yay for being caught up. But um, today's video, I'm not, I'm pretty much not going to upload anything over the weekend. Like, this is just a special little thing because I, um, you know, wanted to try out the service. And with that being said, I'm probably not going to upload anything over the weekend. Maybe I will with the cooking, like, seafood boil or just cooking in general. But I wouldn't, like, it's not a regular thing, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, that might change, though. That might change with, um, yeah, forgive me, I'm, like, darting all over the place. Um, that might change, you know, with the coming months. Yeah. But other than that, guys... I want to thank you all for watching this impromptu haul and please forgive me for pretty much being mushmouth of the Fat Albert gang. 
<laughs> it's something I want to work on. So that's why I'm cranking out some videos just to be able to talk and talk comfortably and, you know, not freeze up. And guys, any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk? Don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Let me know your experiences if you've ever done anything like this. Uh, DoorDash, if you've done it for fast food or if you've done it for groceries. I think Shipt is another one. Instacart is another one. So we have all of these things now being implemented that um, we can use and not like have to leave the comfort of our own home if we're busy or whatever which is great i mean i ain't knocking it sometimes i want to go out and like yesterday i went out to win dixie just to get some other stuff like i got some crawfish frozen crawfish that i'm gonna add to the boil too it's been a long week y'all so i'm definitely gonna treat myself and I just may show y'all the dip because there's like a bajillion trillion seafood boil out there. So I just show y'all the end product and then how I do my dip. We'll do that for like one impromptu video. Um. But yeah, let me know your experiences on anyone. I think Postmates is another one. I like to go on tangents. I, I, yeah, it's something else. I got to pick a lane and stay in it. But Postmates, Shipped, DoorDash. Good Lord. There's like, there's more and more Uber Eats. And like these companies now just flooded, um my neighborhood so it's like wow where were you guys when you know i didn't want to leave my house because i had to study all damn oh excuse me all day and um you know i was too tired to go out like sometimes i was able to go out but yeah maybe i'll leave that for another day with like struggles in pharmacy school but, um, yeah, guys, let me officially close out and stop rambling. I apologize. And I thank you for tuning in so far. So, guys, any questions, comments, suggestions, small talk? Don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome and are greatly appreciated. If you had any experience with the companies I mentioned or having groceries or a meal delivered to your house, you know, let me know. Chime in. I'd love to hear it. Questions or comments. They just make my day. So I don't mind responding to them. Um, I want to apologize if YouTube flags your comment as spam. I didn't know to check that, but like I got a couple comments that got sucked into YouTube, you know, monitoring or something like that. I'm going to see if I could just allow all comments because, yeah, I'll miss out on comments, like, or I won't get notified that somebody commented on my video unless I check myself. So I'm going to see if I can override that and allow y'all to... Like, uh, just allow YouTube to just let your comments through. So, yeah, I apologize. I did respond to um, those that left the comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those that left the comment. So, yeah, sorry about that. Like, I can't be preaching about wanting comments and then I don't respond if I can't. Or, you know, if it calls for it. So... Yeah, my apologies, y'all. Um, still, I'd love to have your comments. Let me you know what you think about it. Any criticisms, any suggestions, let me know. I'll definitely take that into consideration. Um, 
yeah, take it easy. Have a wonderful rest of your day today. Gear up for Monday. I know, Monday blues. Um, and I'll catch y'all Tuesday for this week's episode of Tuesdays with a T. And then we'll just follow it from there. All right, y'all. Bye now.